Today I snuck into the Mecha Mage's lab and found a full metal babe. This is Firebird Smooka. Mooka's box art wastes no time throwing subtlety to the curb, sporting glorious shots of her assets. She comes in a series of cam shells that conceal her and her accessories snugly. Right out of the box, what struck me is how well the paint scheme complements her design. Her skin is a sleek silver while her tights are metallic black with the slightest tint of purple. The car cable in her back is well incorporated, but if you wanted to focus on the more human aspects of the design, you can unclip her backpack from here and here. Be careful when doing this, as pulling from the wrong part may damage the plastic pins holding these hinges together. Now she has a more elegant appearance, but I find her harder to stand up in this mode. An unfortunate feature of this design is that her ankles are thin, making her more difficult to balance. But if you use a stand, she's fine. The articulation here is better than most, but underwhelming in some aspects. She has a ball joint at the base of her neck, but a hinge at the head. This can make it harder to pull off expressive poses, but not impossible. A ball joint in the torso. A set of swivels at the hips, and they do not lie. Hinges at the top of the thighs, which have been known to save lives. Double jointed knees. Hinges at the bottom and top of the ankle, and a swivel at the base of the ankle. Hinge in the shoulder. Ball in the shoulder. Swivel at the upper arm, single jointed elbow, which was a little disappointing, and balls at the wrists. All of this means she can pull off a vast array of poses, though some are harder than others, particularly with the arms. That being said, you can't deny that she looks amazing no matter what pose you choose. She is absolutely loaded with accessories. She's got this rocking set of fists, holding hands, open hands, a hand specifically for her lance, two swords, a shield, aforementioned umbrella lance, a handle to hold her car kibble as a weapon, a bow and ribbon, sunglasses, a replaceable squishy bosom if you want to get familiar with your expensive figure there is no hope for our kind, lots of car mode parts, an original silver bunny girl head, decals, and a set of parts that I don't see listed in the instructions anywhere. If you know what these are, please let me know in the comments. Actually, while editing this video on stream, one of our frequent viewers, Snake, pointed out that these extra parts could be used to create a twin blade. And what do you know? There it is! So she also comes with parts to create a twin blade. Bitchin'. There are so many options here. The sword and shield give an excellent night vibe, but I can't resist the brutal elegance of the umbrella. Everything is done so well, but there are some minor issues. The hands are made of slightly flexible rubber and are molded to fit tightly in the arm sockets. If you turn them too sharply while posing, you could break them. The easy solution is to pop them in at the desired angle rather than twisting them in place. The ribbon also clips a little too hard onto the panties, which could easily chip the paint. She's a smoking hot hunk of metal, but the tires she's packing on those thighs aren't just for show. It was at this point she realized she would need help to do the one thing she never thought she'd have to do in a review. Um, Mecca, do you think you could help me transform her? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, I don't do this a lot. I don't have a lot of transforming things. Okay, so first things first, this whole section is gonna kinda go eh. Go back here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that flips like this. Okay. Head, head will turn 360. 180. 180. Okay, so see, this kind of flips up like that, kind of becomes more uniform. Flat. Yeah, flat there. Then 
This is where things start getting a little tricky. Arms. Oh. There's a double hinge on this part here. It's kind of hard to tell how it moves, but you see it kind of moves like that. What I want to do is get the arm down. Mm -hmm. And then what happens is that this peg right here arm, the elbow. Is it a peg? Yeah. Where is it? Right there. Oh, here. Oh. Expert camera work. Right. <laughs> right here. Yeah. Okay. That is going to plug into the holes on her elbow. Oh, okay. So it goes Are like... they on both sides? Yeah. Oh, okay. So there you go. Kind of like that. Alright. Then... Okay, so then... So... That piece... That. Then this comes forward. Got to match up with the... yeah. Then our little tabs end up with is the front of the car. Front of the car. Okay. okay. Oh, these pieces can keep them floating there. That. Ooh. That is going to flip all the way around right there. It's going to peg. Trying. Right there. Plug it in. And that. Oh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This is where things get real wacky. Okay. This, then the bunny ears. The bunny ears. Bunny ears fold like that. Get a little racing fin. Doesn't feel right. Um, mm -hmm. Well. Okay. Okay, mine were assembled backwards, so <laughs> this is not how they're supposed to look on the picture. But that is just my luck with these kind of figures. So, uh, here's the hood of the car. It's got a nice little flap, mm -hmm. flap, little. Mm -hmm. These become one. You can see there are these little tabs. Mm -hmm. Pop it together like that. So then, this goes into this and goes. <laughs> and. There it goes! Car mode! <laughs> wow, look at her. And all her and all her car mode goodness. Nice. Yay. No, nice. This car mode is sick. We suddenly went from kicking ass with class to setting pace in first place. This car mode is well thought out and even uses the bunny ears as a spoiler. Honestly, this is one of the best vehicle modes in our collection. Overall, this figure is outstanding. While the posability could be better, it's made up for with great accessories and a killer ensemble of design sensibilities. She reminds me of a character from an action game, like Bayonetta or Project Eve. More reason to fall head over heels for this attractive automaton. Thank you once again for joining me on this trip into the Mechamage's lab. See you next time, and remember, stay classy boys!